Uh, we like to cover all the topics on City Line. This is one I don't feel like we've covered. It's all about passing gas. Bryce Wild is here. We all do it. We all do it. Come on. Oh my God. We can talk about anything. We can, we can get to anything, you know? There's nothing that's off no, the table here on not. City Line. We're not embarrassed about this topic. I'm not embarrassed about it. I'm turning a little it. red, by the way. It's all makeup. <laughs> I actually think passing gas is still hysterical at 42 years old. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's one of those things that we feel embarrassed about and why are we doing it and what's going on in our bodies and is it okay? Like, is this something, is this a natural thing that should be happening? So wow. you're going to quiz me That's right. on a few things. Now it's going to be a true or false. So if the answer is true, you will hear this sound. If the answer is false, you will hear this sound. <laughs> Excuse that sounds me. like a wet one. That was Whoa, a wet that one. was a wet one. Ew. <laughs> okay. Question number one. All right. Chewing gum. You, you, you go yeah, for it. Yeah, chewing gum. Go does ahead. that actually cause more gas? I have heard that that is true. Really? Yes. Well, what is the answer? It is it true. It is true. So anytime, yeah. Yes. So, in fact. Well, it, well, in fact, even eating too quickly, anytime you're chewing gum, you're swallowing air. And then yeah. ultimately that becomes trapped and it's got to come out somewhere, right? right? So you're either going to burp it out or you're going to pass it out, all right? Okay. So question number two. Yes. If a king farts, is that a noble gas? That was a joke. That's not really a joke. <laughs> False. Air travel, does that make you fart? I'm going to say false. Air travel does not make you fart. What's the answer? <laughs> well, it's actually true. It's true. Well, have, hasn't anyone opened up a bottle of water mid-flight and it goes pssst, right? It was it was it was yeah. a regular. So yeah. gas expands the higher the altitude. Of course, the pressure, which is purposeful, the pressurized cabin yes. will actually cause that belly to expand. So here's the tip: yeah. you know, don't eat beans before you get on a long flight <laughs> because it's going to happen even more. Okay, you want to stay comfortable. Brutal, and you're all locked up in a little container in the sky. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're sitting real close to people even more real and more close. these days, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so next not a good question. idea. The older you get, the yes. more gas you get. True or false? I'm saying true on that one. And the answer is? It is true. Right. So our motility, this is what it's all about. Motility means the amount of spat, like basically contractions that your gut has after you eat food, which is purposeful to get rid of what was out and you know, down there, get yeah. that rid of and make more space for what's coming. So down the digestive tract here, ultimately this, the, uh, the rectum, uh, down there is where the gas is going to be, you know, trapped. And as you're older, you have less of a, you know, more of a challenge pushing that out, as well as having oh. uh, challenges with constipation. That's yeah. why that yeah. happens. Yep. Okay, next question. So the average person on a normal diet would pass about five to ten farts in a day. True or false? I'm going to say false because I think it's more than that. You are. <laughs> Right, you're, you're right, it was false. So the idea <laughs> is that we're actually passing more like 20 a day. Oh and that's normal, so don't be embarrassed about it. You know, typically farts don't smell all that much unless yeah. you've you know, got a lot of sulfur brewing up there. And the idea is, you know what, go ahead and find a washroom and pass that gas. Not a good idea to leave it down there, you know, grumbling and So you're saying unsettled. don't try and do like the bum clench and like don't hold it in. Don't do the bum clench. Don't do the bum clench. Let it out, people. Yeah, no, Let no, it out. Uh, Body is doing yeah. what it should be doing yep. 20 times a day. Oh my gosh. How about okay, bad question. smelling farts? Do you think that's because you're sick or there's a problem down there if they smell? I would say that's false. There's no problem. So and the answer is? You're absolutely right. It right? is false. So it doesn't mean that you're sick just because they smell bad. Again, it's the sulfur brewing. Yeah. You know, and a lot of folks make this misunderstanding that, you know. <laughs> by, by the way, five million Canadians, we have more of this problem across our country than any other country. We haven't figured out why have irritable bowel syndrome, really? which includes either diarrhea, constipation, and lots of gassiness. So yeah. as Canadians, we're passing more than most. That's probably why we have a problem with our ozone layer. You know, that's, a, <laughs> that's my opinion. That's not scientific, we're by the way. We're a farty population up here. So how about uh, foods high in protein. Do you think that that would ultimately make you fart more or cause stinkier farts? I'm going to say false on that one. And the answer? It's right. also false. You're I on. She's farts. getting, yeah, you're beyond the yes. 50s. You know your farts. I know my farts. <laughs> it's this absolutely true. It's absolutely true. Nothing okay, to worry about. Okay, ask me one more Last question. one, exercise. Do you think that that helps you to pass gas and ultimately fart less? I'm going to say true on that one. All right, and you would be? Right, <gasps> right, yes. so it's true. So one thing okay. to do is to practice maybe belly breathing, really pull your stomach in, clench your stomach, and then release, right? What that does is ultimately create more tone yes. and helps you to pass gas a little bit easier. So don't forget that, and even, by the way, doing um, sit-ups can help, you know, just getting right. that excess gas out, right? Now, so, all of these foods are things that may make you gassy, so it's not right. like you're eating bad things Right, right, so take note, you know, the, the melons in particular, cauliflower, kale, cabbage in particular, yep. you know, even avocado, beans, you know, be 
beans, beans, the musical fruit, the more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel sweet beans with every meal, but you're going to toot more. Yes. Lactose intolerance, that could be a problem. Coffee and caffeinated beverages. Yeah. So all these cause a lot more gas. If you're already gas, you might want to avoid that. You know, carminatives, which means essentially helps to relieve gas yeah. and decrease bloating. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, ginger is an anti-inflammatory. So uh, anise. Yes. Uh, you might have heard of that. Star anise. anise yep. star, star anise. So this tastes like uh, licorice. You know, smell that. I love that stuff. Caraway seeds. All these mm. seeds are going to do is, in caraway, you, you know, know from pumpernickel bread. That's so right. So going to reduce the amount of gas in your stomach as a carminative. They'll also, and, and you know, ginger is another example, it's got gingerols, anti-inflammatory, but they'll also um, measurably decrease the amount of spasms. So the more right. you're spasming, the more you're passing gas. Right. right? Uh, an amazing study done. Uh, which showed actually Health Canada now uses a claim, uh, which is amazing, on soluble fiber that all, not only treats irritable bowel syndrome mm -hmm. and reduces constipation, even in kids, by the way. The only other claim for children, by the way, used to be prune juice. Yes. It's got to be so safe and That's effective, right. but now it's soluble fiber, okay. which is amazing. So this one is our, one of our own Canadians, Lorna Vanderhage. What she created was soluble fiber with probiotics called Regular Girl. Ah. This stuff just mixes into water. It's so you tasteless, keep the odorless. you in your system and you get rid of the... Of the fiber bingo right, so okay. so so the idea is feeding the good bacteria they need yeah. to eat as well What's These, in here? Solu just soluble fiber just so checking. it's the regular girl you're a regular girl just mm -hmm. like so keeping you regular reducing yeah. gas by feeding the good bacteria when there's too much bad bacteria in there you're making more gas so we right. got to regulate this it's called dysbiosis imbalance good and bad bacteria okay. lastly reach for the you know chamomile and oh, no chamomile. no not green tea chamomile and peppermint tea peppermint's oh, got an yes. amazing ability to relax that. the intestines really yeah. Good information. Yeah, you know, my you. only takeaway from that is let your farts out. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be the that should be the number one takeaway in right? the show.